hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today for the mixed media I thought I'd do something a little bit different because I'm working on my um, gothic tales um, folio now I don't know whether you saw this yesterday um, but I started making it and I wanted to do some sort of like little backing bits so sort of like a mixed media type um, and I'm loving it because I've used, used sort of like embossing powders, um, I've used inks, um, I've got some black gesso, um, white ink. So I just want to make these little sort of cards to go behind um, my main sort of like focal points of like journal cards. Now I've got this one here to give you an idea. So I've done this one. This is just on a um, little card that I've got. Um, and just adding them onto there like that I think this looks really nice so you can use this as a pocket um, you can use add it onto another tag you can add it onto another bigger one um, to add you know a really nice little grungy background but it's got sort of like nice bits of embossing powder and things like that on them so that's the sort of thing I want to do today because obviously um, it's going to go into my journal and that's why I'm working on it at the moment. I've also got these little bits that I did um, and I don't know whether you can see they're shiny so they've got sort of like embossing powders um, and inks and things like that on but I think they're really nice and I think they will go really well. This one I quite like because you can see all the glossy bits um, because I just want to sort of like oopsie daisy that doesn't go there just sort of like stick behind like that do you know what I mean so you've got something a little like sticking out and you can sew on it and it just gives you another little look to your work so that's my idea so I've done a couple here and I've got I've done this one like that as well which I like I'm going to just use this as an example again but look I think they look really good and if you just cut actually if you cut a little bit off there you could bring these little bits over the top of here as well um, which I think would look really nice um, so that's it that's what I'm going to be doing today so it's really just sort of like a bit of a mixed media journal cards that we can use so let's just start off with these this is one which I've inked on the back I'll pop that over there a little bit um, now the first thing I'm going to do with these two is just wet them so just give it a quick spray they'll probably all buckle up but that's okay a little bit of the um, raw umber just a little oh I'm really low on this one but I do have another spare one so pop a little bit down like that a little bit more water on there I'm going to add a little bit of the gold as well so just going to get sort of like a bit of a background now this gold one is quite thick um, a little bit of bubble in there so I just want a little bit just to move about and what I'm going to do is I'm going to blob them on blob them on top of each other I've probably got enough on there actually to put onto this one as well so in generally we're just making a nice mess today I'm going to get covered in nice ink look at that fabulous now I'm just going to quickly dry those so we got a nice background well actually maybe I'll just do this one as well well I've got some on there I want it more really around the edges because that's what you're going to see most of um, so let's just pop another little bit around these bits like this let's all get nice covered in ink use up these little bits maybe a little bit more on this one then perfect so let me just quickly dry these oopsie daisy nice and grubby today perfect so lovely so I don't know whether you can see I'll do a close-up whether it's going to look like that at the end I don't know but they have just got that lovely little bit of shine because of the gothic um, tail folio it's got sort of like goldy bits in and I thought these would look really really nice like that so these little sort of like index cards 
I am going to add, what shall I add now? I think I might just add, got a little bit of sort of like embossing ink, get the state of my ink pad. So I'm just gonna just dab, just, I'm gonna do one at a time because I'll end up with a big mess otherwise. I'm going to get my piece of paper here. And then I'm going to, what shall we have? I've got some embossing powders. Now these are like seriously old. These are like 20 years old, um, these embossing powders. Because um, I don't really use them enough. Um, so I'm just going to pop a little bit on there like that. Let's get rid of this. Oh my gosh, look what I've just done. Just give me two minutes now we just clean this mess up okay so there we go i've just cleaned it up i've got a little makeup brush here so i just sort of like brushed it onto the paper but you didn't need to see me do that okay so i'm just going to dry this little bit i didn't mean dry it i mean emboss it so you can see that it's got that lovely sort of shine to it hasn't it which is fabulous, a bit wibbly wobbly. Now I've got some um, black gesso in here. So let me just give that a shake. I've just popped it into one of my little sort of glue bottles. Now I'm just gonna do, which side shall we do? Should we just go down this bit? So I'm just gonna just do some little sort of circle things on here. Um, and then we can leave this one then to dry just some little random bits because I've done sort of like this sort of like styly bit on here I thought we'd sort of like carry it on through should I pop some up here just in case we will be able to see them so it's just sort of like a little bit of mark making isn't it like this so we've got some gesso ink and then we've got some embossing powders which I don't normally use. So I'm going to leave that one to the side and leave that to dry. So I'll pop that one over here. Let's put this here. So we've got these. These are a little bit damp still but I'm going to add a little bit of white. Now I'm going to dip my brush in like this. Well let's just I'm going to pop some ink on my brush. I think this brush is going a bit, that's a bit better. It was a bit hard then. Pop that like that. I'm a bit clumsy today, aren't I? And then, oh look. I'm going to just flick that. Not that I'm doing a very good job. Let's flick that one. Bit more ink I think. Maybe I can just tap it. No, nope, let's just flick it. Just flick little white bits on. Okay. Not sure whether I like these big blobs on there. Let's just get rid of that. Probably won't see those anyway because they're going to be in the middle. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm going to pop that to the side. Let me do this lid up so I'm so clumsy I'll probably drop that. Okay, so that's that. So what can we add? Maybe I will add, I wonder if I can add boss, embossing powder over that. I think I've got this one which is like a verdigris one. What do you think? Do you think it will just stick to the... It should stick to the wet anyway, shouldn't it? I'm not going to put it on that one, just this one. Just on the big blobs. Let's just see. I think that was sort of... Look at that. Oh, I quite like that. I think I'll probably have to cut this one up. Let me just pop this back in here. That in, pop that over there because that's still wet. So it's just sort of having a little play today. 
Right, I'm going to just emboss that. Okay, so this verdigris one is a bit of a matte emboss. It doesn't sort of go shiny. So I'm going to leave that like that. I quite like that. Should we do a little bit of just so on this one as well? What should we do? Should we come from the side? I think I'll probably end up cutting this one down and just using bits. So I think maybe I'll just come do little blocks like this from this side. Down. And then we can just sort of like use little bits of it. Maybe I'll go this way. So we can just go down through that middle bit. So even if I don't use these in my um, journal or my folio that I'm doing, I'm sure I can use these in other things that I make because of the colours are fabulous, aren't they? Nice neutrally colours. And then I can just, not that that's very straight, but it's quite nice though, isn't it? I do like that. I, I'm not going to do any more on that one because I like that as it is. Pop that on there. Let's pop that to the side. Let's just make sure I'm not going to make too much mess everywhere. Now this one, let me just get a bit of tissue. Let's just dab that little blob there. There we go. Perfect. That looks good, doesn't it? Now what I'm going to do, what should we do on this one? Shall I add? Now this is a little bit of embossing powder, which I've sort of like, it's got a bit of a mixture. It's got little bits of fluff and all sorts of bits in there. But I don't mind that on here because it's sort of like a grungy look to it anyway. So shall we add a little bit of embossing powder? Just sort of on the edge like this. It will probably pick up onto the white paint maybe as well. I've got big sparkly bits, all sorts in there. Can you see? It's just like a little bit. I think I might pop just a bit down this end, edge if I can. Let's see. There we go. Let's pop that there. You see it's got like little glittery bits and all sorts in this one. It's just sort of like little leftover bits that I didn't want to throw away. So let's pop the lid on that. Let's just dry this. Or if you can watch, because it's lovely when you watch it, because it just sort of like melts lovely. Okay, love it. I hope you saw that sort of like change um, or melt really, isn't it? Look, it just looks beautiful. Now I'm going to leave them, that one like that because again, I can just cut that in half and then pop this down the side of a journal card or something like that. So you've got that lovely bit of gold through there. If I had a thinner one, I could probably use the whole thing. But I think they look beautiful, loving them. And do you know what I mean? Like this one. I think they look great. I know we're using that one as an example, but I do have these big ones here, which are the big um, tags that I've got. So even coming from the bottom of this, I haven't cut them out completely because I like to back them and then cut them out. But I think these look fabulous. I think they're going to be a really, really lovely. I know it's a little bit um, strange one today. Well, not strange because we all need these little bits and pieces. So I'm just going to do another two, I think. So let's just wet them. And I'm going to go in. I'm actually going to go in. This is the muted green, which is a little bit of the bluier colour. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to go in with... 
we have, what's this one? That's the muted grey. So this is more of the purpley colour, isn't it? And I think sort of purple goes with um, gothic, isn't it? It's pretty gothic. Um, the purple, oh, look at that. That just fabulous. Let's pop the lid on. Just catch all of that. We have purple and gold, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Pop a little bit of a little bit more water on there in a minute. Just to go in. Should we drip it onto this one? There we go. Just round the edges, there we are. Gosh, that's nice, isn't it? Let's go this way. Gosh, I love those. That's a fabulous colour. Let me just get a couple more of these because I think I could probably squash that onto there use that as well. Definitely look at that. Okay, I'm just going to quickly dry those. Okay, lovely. Let's just get a little bit of oh, not sure there dry-ish on there. Look at that. Fabulous colour. I do like that colour. That goes well, doesn't it? What have we got? I've got some journal cards in here. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that one. Oh, they're going to go fabulous, aren't they? Okay. What should we put on here? I might... Oh, that's a little bit wet. But what I might do, I've got some stays on, jet black, and I've got the brown actually. I'm going to use a little bit of text on here. Let's see if this will work. Just on the edges. Oh, yes. That looks good. Let's just go down the side. A little bit up here. That's nice. So that's just on those three. Which looks fabulous, doesn't it? Let's pop that over there. I'm going to get the gesso again. I will make something with this in a minute. I'll pop all this away and we'll make something when they're dry. Just to see what they look, what they look like. Okay, I'm going to just... Let's pop this down. I'm just going to do some like little lines like this going down. Even if, like I said, cut these bits off, don't have to use the whole thing. But I'm just loving these. Just follow this around like this. So this gesso is just black in here, it's just black gesso that I popped into one of my little glue bottles. Oh look, that looks almost like a face. Um, and then you've got this really nice sort of like pen effect. You can sort of like draw with it which is great. So these are going to look lovely. Just a little bit. Of, oh, squidge it on. What should we do on this one? Like I said, it's just sort of like round the outsides that we want to do this. Let's go 
go over the purple so this is a good old mixed media doing lots of little bits and pieces like this isn't it um, let's pop that on there Can add a little bit of white to this one just going to drip little blobs under here I know it looks a mess I know it does you're probably going oh my god that's such a mess but I think once we've added some stitching on the sewing machine um, I think these are going to come out really really nice I know they look a bit messy at the moment but Okay, so I think this is still just is that wet? Not quite, but I think I might just add a little bit of embossing powder onto this one. What colour? Should we use a little bit of the verdigris that we've got? Or shall I use this bit of grungy brown? Gold, I mean. Again, we're just sort of like layering up that colour, the white and the gesso and everything. And when you do things like this, if you don't like what you've got, you can just cover it up. Which is the nice thing, isn't it? Just see if I can just get a little bit of glittery bits on there. There we go. That's perfect. I hope you can see that. Looks really, really good. You're probably thinking how messy it looks but you wait and see they will look absolutely lovely when we're done should we add a little bit of glittery to this one let's see because mm, I quite like that I, li I think that looks really nice I've got the gold in there but yes I think pop that one I might even add a little bit more to that one let's just do it shall we Look at my poor ink pad. This is the one I used to do um, the mixed media grungy bits anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. I'm going to add a little bit more to this one, I think. Which side of the top. Okay. Let's see. Look, I've only done the wrong colour. Wasn't paying attention, was I? They were both the same little pots. But that's the brown. Or oh, what colour is this one? This one's called... Oh, that's copper. This is the one that I would like to use. So let's just pop the copper one there. That's okay. A little bit more gold on there. We had a bit of gold. I can't remember where I put the ink on this one. Is that about it? There we go. Perfect. Oops, flick it away. Okay, let's just dry these and then we can get to making something. lovely now that's better can you see that that's lovely they are really really lovely and this is the one with the copper on it can you see that's quite nice isn't it so this is what we have so we've got this one we've got this one then i've got this one which is probably so 
that dry? That's pretty dry now, isn't it? So, love them. Absolutely love them. So, I'm going to... I think I like this purple in there. Right, I'm going to pop these away and then I'm going to come back and we will actually pop something together so you can see what the actual um, outlook is like. Okay, guys, so two seconds. Okay, perfect. So they are all pretty dry now and I am just loving how they look. Um, so that's a nice bit of mixed media. So that's the sort of like index cards. Um, we've got a little bit of ink on there from stamping. We've got some gesso. Um, and we've got some embossing powders, so I think they look great, don't they? So I quite like this one. I think that looks really, really lovely. Back's a bit grubby, so I think we we'll use this one. I'm going to use this because I've got it already cut out um, and loving it. So first thing I'm going to do is get my little grungy tool, and we will make a little mixed media tag. So let's just grunge the side up. So this is just one of my little grungy tools. So I'm going to just go round the edge like this and then we can just ink that up. I might quite like to back this with something as well actually. Just see what we can do with this. Pop a little bit on here. Let's ink that up. What should we do? We don't want black. Where's my little dauber? Never mind, I'll use the black one. Not that it really matters. Let's go round the edge. Just grunge it up a little bit. So mixed media comes in all forms, doesn't it? So this is a bit of a different one for me today, or for you guys. So I've got some of this um, board. Well, it's sort of like um, sort of like a nice coppery colour, but that's what I used on this one here on the back, and then just got oil and not oil. I don't know why I said oil. Um, ink, and then we've got the embossing powders on here and some stitching. So that's the sort of thing I think I would like to do on here and pop it onto this card and maybe I can make this into sort of like a little pocket going this way so let's just cut it down from here is this going to be big enough I think so let's just chop that down oh I could have taken a little bit more off there actually doesn't need to go all the way let's take another slither off there don't want too much peeking out let's pop that on here maybe I'll about there should we have it out there okay put these little bits to the side so that should fit I'll leave that little bit longer at the bottom which I could do with it a bit smaller because I was thinking maybe I might tuck that underneath yeah let's just cut just a tiny little bit more off like that what's that like that's perfect now what I'm going to do I'm going to ink around the edge I shouldn't have put my stuff away actually because I might just add a little bit of inks to this. Now I do have some al alcohol ink somewhere, which I could use. I've got a little bit of sandpaper. I did have some sandpaper somewhere. Not very organised. Got a little bit here which we can use. It's just a little fine grade sandpaper. I'm just got a piece of let's just get a piece of this because this does make a bit of a mess. Now I'm just going to sand this down just along the edges. There we go. 
that will sit on there. I'm going to add, I think I might just add, what should we add? Let's see, I might actually emboss it with something. I might go round just a little bit with a little bit of black just on one side. I've got this opaque black here. Let's just see. Just like that. Maybe I'll pop a little bit on the bottom. up I think I'll turn that one over right let's just heat this up fabulous can you see that how it sort of like shines really lovely so this I might even pop that over just a little bit look at that love it now you probably didn't need to use the card that I use because you can't really see it anyway, can you? Unless we do the little rolly back thing that I did, but no, I think I will stick that like that onto here. Gosh, I love that. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to glue this down and another little bit, I'm going to just a little bit of glue in the middle because I'm going to sew around the outside. So I don't want to get glue on my needle. So if I just throw it on the pop it on the inside, I'm going to just go around the outside on my sewing machine. So I will be two seconds. Okay, perfect. I'm going to leave this little bit hanging down. So what I've just done is gone around it. So that's a little bit harder. So that looks good. Now I'm going to make a little hole here and sort of like stick that through, I think. Let's get my knife. And my little cutting board. Okay. I'm going to just where do we want it? Pops through. Actually. Just go around like that. Just pop that in. Should we put one down the bottom? Should we do it all the way around? I don't think I will here because I'm going to add a little bit of lace or something to that one. But I think just here. Just down this bit. Oops, I don't cut myself. It's just in a little arch, sort of like that. What does that look like? Will that go in? Look at that. Fab. Doesn't that look good? Is it a bit lopsided? Not really, is it? Now, shall I put the tuck this one? or this side, or I could probably do both because we could probably just stick that down, couldn't we? And I might just hang something off here. So I've got these lovely little ones that I cut out, these little ones which I embossed. And I might just sort of like pop, I think I'll go for one of those, just either side like that, look. Just stick that on. I think that's what I shall do. That one and that one. Doesn't really matter which ones. But I want that one on the front, I think, because I quite like that goldy bit. So let's pop this to the side. So this is a lovely mixed media tag, isn't it? Or pocket or tuck or something. Can you see it's all sort of like shiny and lovely? Now, I've got my little box of bits and pieces here. Got this. 
which is quite nice, but I don't need all of that. I'm going to cut down through here because I want it to fray. If we do that, look, it's going to fray. Lovely. Oh, I can just pull it. Oh, look at these lovely bits. Pop that to the side. Look at that. Lovely. A bit more. Now, I think we'll probably just have a pocket at the back because I'm going to pop this down here, I think, like that. And then, and then I'm going to just... Decisions! I think I will just hang pop that on there. But I think we need something else. It needs something something like this as well that looks a bit too sort of clean if you know what I mean let's just put this under here like this come out this way what do you reckon I think that's probably a bit too much isn't it bit okay I'm just gonna just glue this down I think what should we do should we just I think I might ink this little bit bend that over let's just ink that and I think just a little bit love at that I'm going to stick this down what should we stick it or shall I sew it I might actually sew over that I'm going to stick it down anyway because let me get my three in one because I need to hold it in place don't we let's just pop a little bit of glue there should we stick it down flat or should we have a little little flippy over bit there shall we that's it just so that sticks down let's just grunge some of this out maybe have that so that comes off like that that's better isn't it that looks good and then I'm going to go down should I sew down there or sew down I'm going to sew over the top of this line I think where I've sewn it before and then I might just go down this side just to keep that on so I'm not quite sure whether that will fit but I'm just going to sew that on I'm quite liking it as it's open because I'm going to sew this side I don't mind that this is sort of like a little bit loose I might be able to sort of like tuck something through there or something like that. So two secs, I'm just going to quickly sew that. Okay, perfect. That's lovely. So I've just sewn that on there. So that looks good. Where's my little scissors? Let's just chop these little bits off. So yes, that is. So I can flip that off if I want to. And I can just... Should I use both of those bits? I am going to stick these on there because I think that looks good. Like that. I'm going to do that now so I don't forget. Should we use a little bit of this? Let's just stick it on top like that. Is that one around the back? What's that piece? Well, that's just an extra piece. Okay, stick that on. Lovely. That's just nice and grungy coming off there. Let me pull it a bit like that. That's it. That's better. Right. Love it. Oopsie. Let me get a 
and just let that dry. Fabulous. Oh, I do like that. That's great, isn't it? What else can we pop on there? Should we do something else before this? What should we do? Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Love it. So, this is my other one. I wanted pockets to go on this side. Like this. So we could even have that dangling down, couldn't we? And that could be almost like a little tucky spot or something like that in there. Whether I'll pop it on that side or this side. Or in the other bit of my folio, which I haven't finished yet. But I'm loving that. So that's the idea of what I wanted to do. So that's our sort of like mixed media for today. Um, just sort of like a nice mixed up tag. So these are all obviously all the sort of backgrounds, which I am just loving. And they look so good. I think they look so good. Um, on here but I am going to I quite like that actually lopsided you see that sort of like offset I'm gonna pop that there because I'll probably make a big mess let me just see let's pop a little should we do that or should we grunge it let's do this I could probably do It. So, if you've got any of your little glue bottles like this, and you've got black gesso or even white gesso, you could pop in there and actually draw with it. Um, and it's come out really, really nice. I'm loving it. So, now I just have to look, that would make a fab pocket just like that, wouldn't it? I am actually going to leave it like that as in so again I can pop this on here as a pocket to pop something in oh I like that oh I am liking these see they look completely different don't they once you sort of like once they're dry and they're cut um, I think they look great so oh, let's just grunge this a little bit first shall we I'm not going to do too much with them because I don't know what how my folio is going to turn out yet. So I just want them um, to sort of you know, be pieces like this. So fabulous. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to just give you a quick peek at my folio so you know. If you missed my video, I think yesterday um, it, I put it out. So if you missed yesterday's video... I'll just show you what I'm actually doing, which I probably should have showed you in the beginning, shouldn't I? So this is the folio I'm making. Let's pop all these little bits out of the way. These, that's the piece of sandpaper I was looking for. Okay, so this is the folio. So this, this folds open and then closes up like that. This I have got as the front cover which I am just loving. And then I've got this one here, which is for the inside. I've got one of my pockets, um, like the little pouches that I made, and that's gonna go on the back. And then we have got this, which is gonna go inside as well, which attaches to this piece like that. Because this is the whole sort of like piece of paper and that will just fold over. And that's the other side of it. So it's very sort of mixed media anyway. So this is why I wanted to do the mixed media, um, all these little sort of like bits and pieces, because I think they will go absolutely fantastic. I know they don't look much and they look a little bit messy, but once you've, you've popped them into your journal and you've got these little pieces, they're fantastic to use um, as backings um, for all your little bits and pieces. Um, all your journaling cards and stuff like that, which I love. So I will be doing this. So that one comes out like that and then that opens out. So I just think it's fab and I'm having so much fun making it. So I'm going to pop that to the side. And this is what we've been doing today. 
so we've made this one which I love which I think will go perfectly in the journal won't it in the folio keep saying journal it's not journal it's a folio so there we go guys that's our little bits and pieces for today um, I hope you enjoyed that little bit different to my normal um, but um, I needed to do it so I thought I'd show you um, so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um, stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.